Hey guys, uh, sorry I haven't posted in a while, been kind of busy with life. I uh, picked this cool little guy up here at the thrift store today for a whopping $7. It was uh, going to go in the recycle bin and I really couldn't let that happen. So uh, let me get some light on this thing and I can show it off a little bit. This is a, a, a 1975 Chroma Color 2 with a uh, 19 uh, GC481ZC chassis. Uh, this was one of the kind of ritzier models uh, of the tabletop variety. It uh, has both the AFC and the uh, uh, chromatic automatic color system. The CRT checks uh, wonderful. The thing was almost never used. And uh, it was obviously t taken very good care of, which I'll uh, show you here. I'll put the camera down so I can rotate this thing. This television weighs a metric ton. It's an all solid steel chassis. It's in a uh, vertical chassis, as opposed to the earlier horizontals. And there's evidence that uh, somebody did some repairs to it. It's got the uh, upgraded vertical board and uh, somebody changed out the white safety cap to the uh, orange as specified in the service bulletin. Zenith lost a lot of money on these. If you pull the back on one of these chroma color twos and you see the white safety cap here, now this is white, uh, you have to change that. Uh, I forget what the actual replacement part is. I think there's a thread on Video Karma somewhere. But basically what happens is the capacitor opens and it causes loss of high voltage regulation. The uh, high voltage shoots up to some scary amount like 35 kilovolts or something, uh, 40 kilovolts and breaks the neck on the CRT. Uh, there's also evidence that somebody replaced the uh, uh, video board here. This is uh, what looks to be a different board uh, than what's specified on the a little location chart here in the in in the back of the cabinet. Uh, it's not currently working. It's got some uh, power supply issues, but uh, I'll have it up and running soon enough. These are wonderful sets. Produce great pictures. Very well worth it. It uh, might just be a loose connection. There's obvious evidence that somebody dropped this thing, as you can tell by the very large chip in the cabinet. But otherwise looks good, and it's got a strong CRT. Obvious signs of it being taken care of, so I think it's worth pursuing. So uh, when I get this thing tweaked out and running, uh, you'll probably see uh, some more videos of it. So stay tuned.